what I think is genuinely going to go down as one of the best first round series ever. Philly and New York. Two things about this series. Well, obviously on court, the series was fantastic. But the crowd, both crowds, Philly or Madison Square Garden, electric in every single game. It was amazing. Bro, they was turning Philly into Madison Square Garden, too. You got Knicks fans packing out the Wells Fargo Center, Sixers fans in Madison Square Garden. It just was perfect. It was great energy from the crowd, and it amplified mm-hmm. every single game. But I do have something here for you. All right, and you go first. You go first. You like you about to say something. No, I was just going to say the fact that it was like, it was so perfect from the standpoint of like, you have Philly fans and you have New York fans. The then you have like, but the, but like, it fit the teams because like you have yeah. a scrappy like Tibbs New York team and then a Philly team that's like, they, you know what I'm saying? They got some fight to them too. Like, it was just perfect right. as far as like just atmosphere. That's all I had to say. No, 100%. You got. And look, I'm going to start this whole little analysis with this. I'm going to tip my cap. Joel Embiid, off of a knee injury, mm-hmm. playing with Bell's palsy, which if y'all know what that is, like the nerves in your face start tweaking out. Half your face is not operating on the same wavelength as the other one. Wild stuff. For him to go out and have the series that he did in this one, 100% credit to him. He had a fantastic series playing hurt. Makes you even wonder more what it would be like if he could have been really healthy Fact. in the series. And, you know, we've been guys who were critical of Embiid last year, um, critical of Embiid genuinely at times in the playoffs. This is a great series from him, no matter the outcome. So I wanted to start there. But I have something, something here to share with you. It's actually a phone number, 215-686-3280. Do you know what that phone number is? I don't. I'm curious. That is the phone number for the police chief in Philadelphia because I have a robbery to report. <laughs> Tobias Harris has just stolen $150 million from the Philadelphia <laughs> organization. I was wondering where this was going. <laughs> do you know how many points he scored last night? Oh, I do. I do. The same amount as me and you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> me, Billy, <laughs> Dane, we had the same amount of points as a $150 million NBA player. And we were more efficient, too. <laughs> we, were, we were way more efficient, too. <laughs> I have never been more disgusted by Tobias Harris's play in a 76ers uniform than this series. And I know people have gone on him in the past. I've always thought it was like, hee hee ha ha, it's a little funny. Like, I get it, you know. He was the third option, and then he was the fourth option, and then he came back to being the third option when after Jimmy left, and it was like, cool. But, like, this was disgusting, bro. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest, let me pull up his, like, full stats from this playoffs. Obviously, in this last game, I think he only shot two shots. Um, shot one. I thought he shot one. He got two. <laughs> Oh, he did? No. Nine points, seven rebounds, one assist. He shot 43% from the field, 33% from three. Played 36 minutes a night and gave you nine points, getting a $150 million contract. Um, There was a point in last night's game on a fast break, one-on-one. Could you take a wild guess at who the defender was that made Tobias Harris dribble out of the paint? I don't remember the play you talk about. Jalen Brunson is underneath (laughs) the rim, and Tobias Harris – Dead ass, turned and dribbled out of the paint. Bro, he's his game is so ugly. His game is just not good, bro. It's I'm gonna not. say it again. If y'all really want to call 215-686-3280, the Philadelphia police commissioner, a robbery has occurred in Philly, bro. 150 M's. Bad. Bad, bro. It's crazy, bro. Like. He just gave you nothing. He literally just gave you nothing, bro. Just a waste of it's not a even player. An exaggeration. He actually, gave you, actually he, zero points. Bro. He literally gave you nothing, bro. It was just a waste of a player on the court, which is like I said, I, I agree with you with the fact that like sometimes it's it's more like a funny joke, but like bro, legitimately, like, bro, what does he bring to the table that 
helps you win games. Like it's nothing. Like there's absolutely nothing. Yeah. Last night, 29 minutes. He's a minus 10. Obviously, like I said, over two from the field, zero points. He had four rebounds and three assists. That was it. He just is not making a huge impact defensively. He's not attacking anything offensively. Nine points in a series. Like, do you genuinely, when I look at the 76ers roster, obviously Embiid and Maxi play better than him. Uh, Kyle Lowry played better than him. Kelly Oubre played better than him. Nick Batum played better than him. There's an argument to be made that campaign played better than him. Buddy Heald in his last game 100% played better than him. Seven. Seven players. This guy's making 150 M's. 150 mil. Nine-figure deal. He can't be your eighth best player. That is unbelievable. And to go back to Joel Embiid, I'm glad that it, I just reminded myself. Let me make sure I pull it up to have, have it 100% accurate. But um, there is a stat going around right now from this series. Joel Embiid, when he was on the court, the Sixers had a plus eight net rating in 248 minutes. In the just 45 minutes, he was not on the court in this series. You know, we want to take a guess at what the Sixers' net rating was. I'm going to be wrong. What is I'll it? tell you it's negative. I, I, yeah, know yeah, it's no, I know it's negative for sure. Just how, how negative? Just take a guess. 20? Minus 50.7. Their offensive rating when he's on the court is 124.8. When he was off the court, it was 78.8. When he was on the court, their defensive rating was a 116.5. When he was off the court, it was almost 130, 14 points higher. Bro, it's crazy. <laughs> What's even sicker is if you add up the points from all the games, the I'll Knicks keep, yeah. <laughs> one <laughs> more point. This man, Joel Embiid, had a 50 point net rating difference when he was on or off or when he was on the court versus off the court in a series that was decided by one point. But your third best player making $150 million a year, he couldn't give you one point. <laughs> he gave you no points. <laughs> <laughs>